and that's the actual unit here so we'll go ahead and pull that out you're gonna get some instructions the cable that comes with it is basically just a computer cable and I have like a ton of these things laying around so that's always good if you ever lose that cable so looking over this thing you're gonna see number one it's about 10 pounds as far as weight and I'll throw the specs up on the screen now the sizing on it it's seven inches this way and a little over seven uh, thick that way which isn't like you know that's pretty small when you think of the power that this thing actually generates the batteries inside this is a lithium ion phosphate which is a higher grade battery for longer charging you can get more charges i think you can get up to 25 according to their website you can get up to 2500 charges when you do the math on 2500 charges that's about four and a half years and then this thing that's up to 80 percent so that means it'll still charge up to 80 percent for who knows, maybe 20, 30 years. Maybe this could be a generational item that you can hand down. This is a, and the power output's 268 watt hours, so that's the, the power output. And the max output power is 600 watt. And to turn the display on, you wanna just mash this button once and you get to display. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but you can see it's zero input, 89% power and that gives you 30, which is kind of cool because it tells you that means it has 30 hours of power. Some of the ports on this thing, you get a cigarette lighter type charging port. You get two of these little barrel output plugs, USB-A with a three amp output, five volts, uh, DC current. These are all DC by the way, and by, let's do that. So to turn it on DC, I hit that once, and now I have DC power. And then if I want AC power, I can hit that. Now I have AC and DC. So I've got two AC outlets there, and then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven DC outputs, counting the wireless charging on the top. And AC output, I have two, so a total of nine. It has a surge protector thing right there, so if it does pop, you can pop that. This is where you're gonna use your cord. If you're gonna charge it, you're gonna put plug that in, which I will show that. I will plug it in here in a minute and show you guys. And this barrel plug right here, this is an eight millimeter barrel plug. That's where that solar cable's gonna go. But one of the other things that I highly recommend purchasing, you see what this thing is? This is a car charger, because I wanna be able to charge this thing while I'm in a car. It's up to 100 watts, so, with 100 watts of input, you could charge this thing pretty quick. On the subject of charging, when you're charging with a, with a power cable, AC power cable, this thing will charge, fully charge from zero in about an hour and 20 minutes, which was very impressive on how quickly I could charge this thing up. There's three charging modes, which is all done with the app, and I'll get into the app. There's a standard, a silent, and a turbo mode that you'll kind of cycle through, and that's why it's important to download the app. It lets you turn it into eco mode, which eco mode is like a a type of power saving mode when it gets when it's just draining by itself you can put it in eco mode one to four hours as far as the eco mode and then it has something called power lifting which gives it a 1200 watt surge which i'll show that here in a minute because i keep it in power lifting all the time obviously you know i want maximum power all the time and you can operate this little light right here you know, there is a little light, which, I mean, I think that's handy. But let's go ahead and put this thing to the test. Obviously, this thing is not designed to run a construction site. So if you guys think you're buying something that's just like a little 10 inch box for a construction site, you're crazy. But if you got a quick job, there's times I just wanna like have to cut something real fast. We're at 82%. Woo! We're pulling about, it looks like I'm pulling 275. Oh yeah, look at that. It's working. We just spiked up to 500. So it spiked up to 478 total. That worked great, I actually like that. So you could run a right angle grinder out of this and then only use 3% to cut that pole right there. So let's try this beast out. I'm leaving that plugged in. And by the way, you can still plug in these with the ground. All right, let's try to drill some holes. Oh, wow. So you could, you could do like a, a, a quick little job if I had to. 
So if you had to run a drill real quick and needed to do like a quick job, I think this thing would be awesome. All right, so we're set up now. Let me show you guys exactly how this UPS system works. You can see I'm plugged in right here, so I'm charging. I'm at 264 watts coming in. It's already going up. I'm at zero going out, but I'm at UPS here. That it could be anything that you want to have on when the power goes out. So let's pull the let's pull the cord and see what happens. So yanking the cord out. Did you see that little flicker? We are still pulling 14 watts. That light never turned off. It just barely flickered because it jumped from the power supply here into the battery supply. What I'm gonna be using it for the most is amongst my travels, whether I'm doing car camping or just at a campground where I need to charge all of our equipment. If we're running like a, a drone, GoPros or something like that, cell phones, really good that we could charge all of our equipment while we're out doing something. That's all I got today, everybody, on the Blue Eddy EB3A. Let's go get to charging. Let's get some power going. Woo!